Hello, this is Shiraz Ahmed from Multinational Corporations and I also play on Dead Butos. Uh, so, thanks to Global Metal Apocalypse for having me here and I'm going to be speaking about uh, how the the entire pandemic has affected the Pakistani society and the Pakistani music scene in general and what's going on here. So yeah, so like multinational corporations is basically a two-piece band with me and Hassan. Hassan is right now in Germany because he's he's he went there for his masters and he's staying there. And, well, a much better place to stay in this situation <laughs> as compared to Pakistan. So yeah, I'm I'm here alone right now. So. Okay, so the first question was uh, how has uh, this whole pandemic has affected multinational corporations, plans, and um, what's going on? So, well, to be honest, uh, the pandemic hasn't been much of an issue for Multicorp because we we were already on a bit, bit on kind of sort of a hiatus because we were not recording anything. But we have one you know one EP's material in pipeline but Hassan is studying abroad so he doesn't have like a uh, good recording space to lay down his vocals so we are waiting on that and once he finds that maybe we will have some more noise to put out there but right now it's just on a you know standstill but you know like in Pakistan the lockdown and all these things that are going on it has been you know to be honest, very half-assed. Pakistanis didn't care about the pandemic since day one. You know, like even even during the March when we enforced a relatively strict lockdown, it was still you know very lukewarm. Nobody cared about the pandemic. The government was itself very non-serious about it. They were sending mixed messages to the citizens all the time, and even during the strict stricter days of lockdown, you know, people were out on the street. They were the, the bazaars, the markets were swamped with people and then came the Ramzan and Eid and people just went crazy and the government didn't try to stop it. You know, some provincial governments, they were taking it a bit seriously. They were enforcing lockdowns on their own, but the federal government, they didn't give a damn about it since the first day. You know, they were like, nobody's going to die. Let the businesses run, let the economy run, you know, because they think they cannot take the damage, but to be honest, uh, Pakistan has is in a really messed up place right now because we have never really invested in public health care, public education. People are really, you know, ignorant. They don't give a shit whether they die or not. Our society is full of fatalism. You know, people think that it's in inevitable to die. So there's no point in taking any taking any precautions. And now that they have eased the lockdown which is like really weird to think about because the whole world is easing lockdown restrictions when the curve is going down, right? But the Pakistanis are easing it when the curve is really starting to go up, you know, the virus is really starting to take its toll, the death rates is going up and they have opened all the markets, they have opened all the workplaces. Some, some sophisticated businesses are still doing work from home, but most of them are forcing their employees to come to the workplace, okay? And even in the workplace, the narrative is a bit messed up. You know, some people think that they, they can go to mosque, they can go everywhere, they can eat from the same plate and still not get infected. And uh, other people who are a bit more educated about all of this, they are saying that it's wrong, you know? And you are exposing everyone else, but they don't, lay, they don't fucking care about that. So, Pakistan, the situation is really messed up and Pakistan's history is such that, you know, we have always cut down spending on public health care, public education and always spend more on, you know, muscle, the gym equipment. I'm going to use a metaphor for it, you know. So when you spend too much on gym equipment, you do, you do get buffed, okay. But when you don't spend anything on education or health, you are dumb in the brain. And that's the state we are in right now. Our country is in is full on muscle, but they don't have any brains and they don't give a damn about, you know, what 
what happens to the people because they already have a you know a huge number of population and i think they are just thinking that it's okay if a few thousand people dies you know because we cannot feed them anywhere so what's the point so such is the situation in pakistan we have another budget coming up in a few days and i know they are going to boost up the muscle and cut down on the health and education and that's why you have the mass masses who are ignorant as fuck and health healthcare system was already burdened before the pandemic you know there were people lying in the public hospitals there were like two or three patients lying on the same bed there were people lying on the floor even during the normal days so now that the pandemic is here nobody knows what to do you know and they didn't they didn't even try to you know the money they are getting from abroad or some money that they are collecting locally they are not investing it in healthcare nobody knows where it's going you know so it is really fucked up here and well apart from multi corp well, you know some some uh, recording projects were going on which are which have been stopped due to like you know so people cannot travel i haven't had any friends over at my place since march you know we just communicated on video calls and meet somewhere outside though, even though like from a 6 feet distance but still you know like mostly mostly you are alone these days okay so next question how has this affected the pakistani metal scene okay so first of all there is no metal metal scene in pakistan to be you know of much importance there are just a few bands and it's, it has always been like this you know some people come after like 5 years you know there's a scene then everybody dies down goes away goes abroad or starts doing something else because there's no you know live circuit even before the pandemic i think that most of the, there were very few shows happening and they were mostly happening during summers no during winters i'm sorry during winters yeah and and more you know like pakistan in pakistan you cannot really earn from, a living from this right so people are it's more more like a like a hobby for people you know and when you play a show you know at a small venue with 150 200 people when and the end of end of the day you find out that all the money is going to the venue guy you're getting shit at the end of the night so you there's only so much you can do about it now okay so underground scene in pakistan is a lost cause okay no no scene here but yeah there there are still some bands some old guys you know who were who have been playing since like 2008 2009 they are still putting out albums like i know dusk is recording an album these days and there is another band called takatak they are they are putting out music videos during the pandemic which is a good thing you know so but apart from that live scene no no scene whatsoever and a lot of people are doing you know the instagram cover thing and in instagram live stream set up shit but um, that shit doesn't pay either to be honest so it's not like a really viable outlet so yeah it's going as it was before you know not much has changed because everything was fucked up even before the pandemic started so that's how it is wow what's the next question any final thoughts words to say to the international metal community well i know you know what like keep doing what you like and i don't think there will be the live shows that used to be during the pandemic and i don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon so people should just you know focus more on what they like instead of bringing in the crowd you know i think that pandemic should help us you know reflect on ourselves more and do things the way we want to do it not how the people want us to do it you know because you know when you are playing for a lot of people you always get stuck in what the crowd would appreciate and what you like you know it's kind of hard battle for some people for some people it's okay because they choose to do what the people like but for some other people 
who have their own preferences they don't like doing what the crowd says so i think this whole pandemic this whole situation that it should bring out a more reflective side of us and you know maybe the music should be more about the artists themselves instead of the people listening to the music and i've always been a proponent of that thought i don't care a lot of people say that music is not a solitary art because you do it for the crowd the people who listen to you but i don't give a shit about that that's the reason i always played niche music and i think that art or your expression really comes out when you dig deep into yourself instead of like trying to do what the people would appreciate because people don't know what to appreciate to be honest and so this is it i guess that's goodbye